<laughs> I've been on top for a while. Nasty chip to the moon. Fast car make go boom boom. Take it to the boom boom boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mmm. Bought a big pet. Carrot top. She's giving carrot top. She's giving ginger. She's giving. Wow. I'm here for it. But what is up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Ati. You call me Teal or Sunny. Whichever one you mother freaking like, girl. And today I am back with another video. Clearly, you see by the title, I'm going from red to a ginger. Kind of messed up, but I did fix it to like bring it like this color, which is the color that I was going for in the first place. So I'll show you how I fixed it and stuff in this video. What I used instead of bleaching my hair to, you know, deposit the new color, um, all of that good stuff. So if you're ready to see that, then definitely stay tuned. We back anything let's just get started first thing i have to do though is use this so this is like the color oops hair color remover so i'm going to use this to like strip this hair color um as well as for my um skunk start and i did bleach this side so i'm thinking this is going to go back to blonde so it's going to be like a brighter ginger color and i'm like if it comes out how i want i'm going to be Oh, all right so i got the directions here i'm about to read it it only has two things in it one and two i need to read because i have never used this one before i used a color mover but it was by iron not my color oops uh, instruction is what's the train test they say it's conduct a strand test i know it next for longer or thicker hair you may need more than one box my hair and get thick and there's been at long um, okay. Firstly, it says to um, detangle my hair, so I'm about to go ahead and do that. Alright, so there is two, and I think it said pour. Yeah, so I'm pouring. Ooh, I'm pouring one, this one, into this one. I need a towel. So it said to use a towel or like a cape around you. So I'm going to just use this one. It already has like some bleach things and stuff already on it. And then pour one into two. Okay. Replace this. And then hold it and shake it for 30 seconds. I already broke the seal, and then it says pour a liberal amount on each side. It has gloves with it if you need them. Um, I don't know what this is. Maybe this is like the processing pack. Hmm. It's just like a bag. I don't know. But I'm about to let this sit for like 420 minutes exactly. I'm gonna keep checking on it um, because it's kind of cold in my apartment. And it said don't be around a vent and make sure it's not too cold. So I'm actually about to turn my air conditioner off so it doesn't keep blowing air. All right, so ignore my beat up towel, but y'all, this color of like my hair right now, what is this color called? Is this like ginger? This is cute. So I'm gonna let this um, dry. I'm about to go walk my dog and just, you know, do whatever i'm gonna detangle my hair though because i know for sure i know for a fact if i don't detangle my hair right now oh it's gonna be a problem later all right boom we're in my kitchen well kitchen 
Yeah, we're in my kitchen now. So this is how my hair turned out. I just wanna show y'all like the color of like what it's looking like after it's dry. I did end up having to like blow dry it a little bit just to hurry up the process because I'm losing in daylight now. This right here, I did bleach to add like a pink color on top. This is like the regular hair color when I had did the L'Oreal high color in red and magenta on this. So yeah, that is how my hair is looking. So this is gonna be like a lighter copper I'm planning on, you know, doing. But I wanna show y'all like, I came out here because it's more of an open space than being in my bathroom and like the fumes and you know, like got me choking up. So I put, I honestly wanna keep my hair like this color and then the rest auburn. I don't know if y'all follow Jalen Mitchell, but she did like a platinum blonde um, skunk stripe and it looks so good, oh my gosh. <gasps> but I'm not there yet, I don't think. <sighs> All right, so what you're gonna need are two bowls. I have two bowls because I am doing um, my permanent dye in one and then the semi-permanent semi dye in another. You're also gonna need an applicator brush to apply the permanent hair dye. Gloves, of course. These are my favorite gloves. I love these. They are powder-free so they don't make your hand all dry and ashy and stuff. And then I have 40 volume developer. I use 40 volume developer for my permanent hair dye. And then I have my permanent hair dye here in copper. This is from L'Oreal High Color. It's for dark hair only. So if you use it on the lighter part of your hair, it's going to turn it super, super bright, which you probably will not want. And then lastly, you're gonna need your semi-permanent hair dye. I'm using a door. Um, in Orange Blaze, fresh cognac, and Cajun Spice to get the hair color that I'm looking for. All right, so let's get started. Gloves on before you even open it up because sometimes it like squirts out and I just got my nails done. I don't wanna mess them up. All right, so this is a permanent dye. It is not open, I'm gonna use the cap to push it open and then and I'm gonna squeeze all of the hair dye into this section of so for the next part you're basically gonna have to eyeball it out because it's really no like real measuring formula for how much two parts is but the main thing is you don't want your hair dye to be super watery because when it's watery it's not gonna come out and lift how you want it to. So that's about like, mm, I would say like a half a cup, if that, maybe a third cup of um, hair dye. And I'm basically gonna do maybe like a half cup of the developer. But you don't, like I would honestly pour that much and then go and stir it up and see how the consistency is looking because that's really what you're looking for is a consistency. Um, you don't, like I said, you don't want it to be too runny and you don't want it to be too thick. So that I say was probably about a fourth cup. Oh, I'm so, I'm getting excited. Why am I getting excited? Oh my gosh. All right, so that is too chunky. I'll put some more in. I'll probably just put the rest of that in there. Ooh, this is giving me Halloween spooky vibes. <gasps> wow. This is one like you know it's been whipped properly when you really don't see any of those like little orange, like any more of like the developer. Like you see, for, if you still see the developer, then that means you need to whip it some more because it's not mixed up enough. But this is good. So that is done. Now I'm gonna start on the other side. So. Right side is gonna be for my whole head and the left side is gonna be for only the, uh, what's it called, skunk stripe. I'm using Cajun Spice for my whole head mixed with um, Orange Blaze, all of this, and then probably about mm, maybe like a quarter of the Orange Blaze. And then I'm gonna use half, mm, about half of this and then half of this, like half of how much I put of this in it.
nobody Cause I don't wanna hurt nobody Did it over text, didn't call me Still got love for your mommy I know you wanna be somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody It's our birth, it's our day Most of the things I don't wanna say I won't be around while you chase Alright, so that is on my head. Now I'm gonna quickly, well, I'm gonna try it quickly. I'm gonna do this side first um, because it's gonna be easier. Not easier, but I just don't wanna lose like where I'm at, like my place or whatever. So I'm just gonna use this on the ends of my hair so I'm not double processing this part of my hair you know if you know you know but actually i didn't know so that's what i'm telling y'all because at first i was just using the l'oreal high color every time i had to do my hair and then going back over it with the semi-permanent and girl i was ruining my hair so don't do that you know i learned from my mistakes not doing that anymore and then you kind of like want to finger rape your hair. And don't worry about my t-shirt, it is old. That's why I'm using it. Get through so the color is like distributed evenly throughout the end. Drag me like two hours to your family's house for what? Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what? Always felt like sticking around the same as being stuck. That shit that drives me crazy. And like guns with the aching, getting under my skin. Pretty little young thing, had a nigga come huffing, got me too excited. Yeah. Okay, it is all done now. I'm gonna let it process for 30 minutes, like my whole head. Yeah, my whole head. Because now I'm finished, so I'm gonna see. How that looks after 30 minutes. I got color all on me. I got some on the floor. So I'm gonna clean up, set my timer, and put another cap on. Just one more because I have hair dye on this one. And then I'll come back to y'all. This is how my hair looks. It looks not how I want it to look. It's too orange. So what I'm about to do is just go on top of this. And then like you see like it's still a really defined transition. And I want it to be more smooth. So I'm about to go ahead and put just paprika. Hold on, let me get it. All right, these are the two colors. So I'm going to use French cognac and then Cajun spice and put that on the rest of my hair, even on the roots too. And we'll see, I'll come back at y'all in the morning time and hopefully it looks good. I gotta bring y'all down so y'all can see. So, this is how my hair came out. Like, when I say they, I'm like in love with this color, bruh. Uh, like this is fire. This is so fire. So Jessica Rabbit, who? Who is she? Nothing compared to me in this color. She wants hustle. No, and I know, and I know the girls are gonna wanna fight and square up with me, but I had to change my color, you guys. Like I just had to. I felt like so boxed in so many people love the red on me i love the red on me but it was just you know it was just time to come to an end but what do you guys think like let me know what you guys think was it like a drastic difference to me i don't feel like it's too much of a drastic difference but it's enough but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful helpful and hopefully inspiring if you did definitely give it a thumbs up and follow me on instagram pinterest and tiktok everything will be in the description box below as well as the products that i use and stuff and i will see you guys in the next video bye <laughs> I'm like, hey, what's up, I love Since you're pretty ass, no need to get in the door I just wanna chill, got a sack for my stone